What is up guys, Lord Respawn here, welcome to the video. So in this video we are talking about 5 tips and tricks to get you on your way to becoming a golf pro in Mario Golf Super Rush. So let's just say this is your first Mario Golf game or you haven't played a Mario Golf game in a while because, well, frankly, there hasn't been one. Yes, there is one on 3DS, but there has not been a full home system version in a very long time. So to get started, tip number one is take it slow. Don't jump into Super Rush. Don't jump into the brand new modes right now. Start off with the solo challenge. This is going to allow you to shoot 18 holes, score attack. I highly recommend doing button controls. Motion controls are much more difficult, and it's going to make you not feel as good. You're not, you're not going to feel as comfortable with the game. Button controls, in my opinion, are the way to go. Choose your character, whatever, you know, whichever one you like the most. Start off on the rookie course. Obviously, you won't have all of the different courses unlocked as of yet. But again, start off just playing the game. Basic, straight golf, 18 holes. You know, just get some repetition in, understand the controls, and then jump into the Super Rush mode. Tip number two is start to understand and evaluate how your shot can be impacted by different things within the game. So as you can see, my ball is on a hill right now, and that's going to cause my shot meter to kind of be curved to the right or the left, depending on how your club or where your ball is, is on the course. And if I hit it straight, and we can go ahead and hit it straight and see what, what's going to happen, it's going to curve to the right. So in order to, to kind of counter that, you want to, in this situation, kind of turn your club to the left side and, and make sure that you're really kind of balancing out where your ball is lying and then the trajectory of that shot. The other thing to notice is how are these weather conditions going to affect how your ball is going to be played? You're going to most likely see this, or you're going to only see this really when you're putting, and that's the rain. So as you can see, we've got rain here. Um, it's going to cause your ball to not go as far on the green. And what I mean by that is even if we hit this all the way to the hole, it is going to end up very, very short, as you can see right there. So you actually have to kind of counteract the the wet grass, hit it past the hole, and put enough power to make sure that you can get to the hole. So keep that in mind. Start to learn it as you kind of go through this. Tip number three is start to understand how you can actually manipulate what your ball is going to do. And let me show you what I mean by that. So here we are, we're on a par 3, 220, and you can see if I hit it as, as far as I can go, 220 yards is not going to get me to the hole. So what I want to do is I want to put front spin on this shot. So you want to start your shot with A, go all the way to the top, and then press A forward, A plus a combination of the left stick forward, and that is going to give you front spin on the ball. If you put it backwards, that's going to give you back spin on the ball, and you can imagine how you can use that in different you know scenarios. You also have the ability to curve your ball in the air. And when you would use this situation is really when there's a structure in your way or something like that, you're going to want to be able to curve your ball so that it can get around it. And what you're going to do, same thing with the spin, except you're going to, you're going to use the left stick, left or right, to curve the ball left or right. And I'm going to show you what that means. We're going to curve it to the left. So as you can see here, it goes to the left, and that hooks the ball to the left hand side now obviously that is not the move for this particular shot but I did want to show you guys what that means now here's another shot and what we can do is actually curve it a little bit to the right here just to get it out of the way and hopefully onto that no we're still in the rough but you guys get the point you want to learn how to manipulate your shot so that you can pretty much make the best possible shot for this situation that you're in. Also at the bottom there, you can see if you press the Y button, it will change your shot type. So you can go all out for it right here, or you can kind of chip out and lay up right in front of the hole. It's really preference on how you want to do that. This will allow you, if you just want to kind of chip out, will allow you to just get right in front of the hole and it takes away that risk of shooting it too far. And then you might be in a bad position come later in the hole. Tip number four is simply to just play smart. And what I mean by that is you don't have to get a hole in one every single time on every part of three. You don't have to get an eagle on every single hole that you're on. Understand the conditions, understand what you're doing with each of the different shots and don't try to just go for it, you know, on every single shot. Because at the end of the day, there's going to be a lot of people 
especially as what you know when you play online that they're going to be trying to sink every single chip in they're going to be trying to go you know go for that that eagle that double eagle that hole in one whereas if you just lay up kind of like i did right there this sets us up perfectly to get a birdie right on the first hole so keep that in mind play smart your score is going to reflect that in the end obviously as you get more experience with the game and as you start playing more holes and you start playing online and you really become a pro at this game then you can start taking some risks because at that point they're going to be calculated risks based on your experience with the game so make sure you play smart but also have fun this is a video game but if, again if you want that lowest score possible play smart and the final tip to mastering Mario Golf Super Rush is you need to practice, 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 practice putting. Putting will either make or break your round and honestly is, is the most important part of this game and just golf in general. That's the difference between the pros and the people that, well, are not pros in golf is putting. Okay, because at the end of the day, if you can't sink your putts, you could have the best you know two shots up to the hole you can sink it you can put the ball on the green on a par three but if you take two three four putts to get it in the hole your score is going to reflect that so make sure you understand take the time to read the green understand what these lines mean understand what the different colors mean blue means you have to hit it harder red um you should probably not put as much into it because the green is faster there it's more of a slope so keep that in mind master putting and you will forever be better at this game. I promise you that. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching the video. Hopefully, this helped you get started on your Mario Golf Super Rush adventure. I'm certainly loving this game so far. Let me know in the comments what you think about the newest version of Mario Golf.